Welcome to the Heidi Thorne Show. I'm your host, Heidi Thorne, and in this podcast, I share my real-world self-publishing and small business experience with you. So let's get started with today's show. Now, today I am going to talk about book launch teams. It's actually going to be kind of a rant. I don't really like them, and I have some very specific reasons why I don't. Uh, but let's talk first about what exactly is a book launch team. Now, a book launch team is a group of readers that is recruited by an author or publisher to get a free copy of the book just prior to it being published or just as it's being published in the hope that the group of readers will give the book a review on Amazon, or their blog or social media somewhere online at least these days <laughs> it would be online uh, so it's been going on for quite a while uh, traditional publishers have done it for many many years in fact I've received books that way uh, I've gotten a book in the mail and it has a little note that says courtesy of the author or publisher and we would appreciate your review so it's been going on for a while and it's kind of part of the PR effort, but there are some things that make it not the best option for promotion for self-publishing. And one of the biggest problems that I see with using the book launch team strategy for self-publishing is that authors, self-published authors often recruit their close family and friends to do these reviews. Now, several problems there. First of all, it violates Amazon policy. <laughs> uh, they do not want close friends and family reviewing the book as a customer review on Amazon. Uh, they feel that they're just too um, biased and that they are not good for the customer experience. So that's one problem. And secondly, they're not verified purchases because the person got it as a freebie. So it will show up as an unverified purchase and may not show up with all the other verified purchases. So it's a waste. <laughs> and we'll talk a little bit more about that later too. And um, I, here's the other thing. I, I think when self-published authors approach their potential book launch team readers, there's this guilt factor involved. And I, I know I've been approached several times about doing these book launch teams, and I always feel really strange about it because I often, one, I may not be interested in the book at all. And secondly, I feel like if I say no, I'm going to hurt their feelings. So I'm sure that other potential uh, book launch team readers feel the same way, and they just go ahead and do it regardless of whether the book was one they wanted to read or not. And again, it also is not an ideal reader, not an ideal potential reader if it's just somebody that's handy. <laughs> and I want to clarify one thing too. Your book launch team is not your team of beta readers. Beta readers are all the way back in the early pre-publication phase of your manuscript. They're offering feedback on your book before it gets into these publishing stages. So they are not beta readers. And it's kind of almost a game. I really have a problem with it because here's what I see happening. I see a lot of self-published authors do the book launch team and then on the day of publication there's this groundswell of reviews that pop up for their title on Amazon. Sometimes 25, 50 reviews. And when we're talking about self-published books, that's rare. That's rare to happen organically. So you know that there was something happening in the background to make those happen. 
here's what I've learned. I took a course on um, Amazon fulfillment. And one of the statistics that I learned from that course, now I, I can't verify it one way or the other, but I, I've seen a lot of things to support it. And the number of organic reviews that can occur for books or other products on Amazon can be as low as 1% to 2% of actual purchases. So you know for sure if you see a huge amount of reviews just popping up on the day of publication that one a whole bunch of people got the book for free and that they're reviewing it because they got it for free. So those are not organic reviews. So they're not technically, in my opinion, customer reviews. And I see why Amazon has a bit of a problem with it. Now, uh, Amazon doesn't, at this point, their policy doesn't uh, prohibit you from giving out free copies of your book for people to review. However, they are very clear that you cannot influence the review. You can't say, well, here's a free copy of my book. Now I want you to give me a five-star review or give a positive review. You can't do that. That is totally unethical. And again, it violates Amazon policy. And the other thing that I saw, oh, and this is even worse. And this is I don't even know if you'd call this a book launch team. This is just plain downright unethical and also a violation of Amazon policy. I've heard that some self-published authors ask the book launch team to buy the book, actually buy the book on Amazon so that they get the verified purchase. And then they reimburse the um, reader for their purchase. Uh, uh, uh. That is, that is in strict violation of Amazon policy, and it's just downright unethical. So that's the, the situation there. But here's where I have a problem with it, and it has to do with sales. If you give a free copy of your book as a review copy to your immediate network of people, you're going to lose out on those sales because generally the closer your network is to you, the more likely they are to be the first buyers, that first wave of buyers for your book. So you've lost out on all those sales. Think about it. If you give it to 25 or 50 people that would be ideal readers and they're in your network and you've given it to them for free do you think they're going to buy it absolutely not <laughs> they are not going to buy it so you have lost out on a chunk of sales by doing a book launch team but it gets worse because what happens is that in a book launch team situation usually the author gives the readers a PDF of the book. Now, that's problematic for a couple of reasons. And the biggest reason is that, one, it's impractical for your readers. When I get a PDF copy, I'm just like, ugh. It means I have to sit and read it. You know, it'll be hard for me to read. I'd rather have the Kindle version. <laughs> Okay, so it's an inconvenience for your readers sometimes. And secondly, if it's attached to an email, let's say, or you include a link to a download of the PDF in an email, what's to stop the reader that you've recruited from sharing that PDF copy with their entire email contact list or even on social media there is nothing to stop them from doing that and then you really lose out on sales so that to me is 
is insane. Uh, I, I, that's why I don't use book launch teams. It's, it's crazy. I don't want my work everywhere uh, without paying for it. <laughs> Definitely. So, so what could you do as an alternative? First of all, you can recruit selected reviewers. And I think this is really the way to do it. For example, um, I've been approached through my Facebook page or Twitter or a LinkedIn uh, from people who have identified me. They've either seen a lot of my reviews because I do a lot of reviews on Amazon of books I read. I try and do a review for every book I, I do actually read. Uh, there's been a couple here and there uh, that I don't. Uh, but in general, I try and do a review on almost all the books I read. So they've seen my reviews and they know that I have the ability to write a constructive review. So they've reached out to me and sometimes I do take those on, but it's, even that's rare. And one of the ways that you can protect your work even if you do you know, this outreach to some very select uh, reviewers is you can do a free Kindle ebook giveaway if you're in KDP Select for your Kindle version. Um, or you can offer the Kindle countdown deal. Now I've seen some authors do that and I think that's a really good strategy too uh, because what they'll do is they'll put it at a super deep discount like uh, 99 cents for a very limited time, uh, maybe over a few days over a weekend. And then they say, well, you know, if you would be kind enough to uh, leave a review after you've purchased it, um, that would be much appreciated. I think that's the really best strategy because one, you're only gonna get people, if you have it at a super deep discount, you're only gonna get those people who are genuinely interested in either helping you or actually reading the book. And so those reviews are going to be much more helpful to other potential customers. So, that's my rant on book launch teams. I don't suggest them for self-publishing, um, except in the ways that we just talked about. So I hope you found this helpful. And if you did, I would really appreciate it if you would wander over to iTunes and give The Heidi Thorne Show a nice rating and review, or any review. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm glad for all the reviews. Uh, whether you like it or hate it, um, I would appreciate your review. Um, also, while you're on iTunes, don't forget to subscribe to The Heidi Thorne Show so you uh, get more information on self-publishing and small business. And if you don't like to listen on iTunes, you can listen on Stitcher or Podbean. Um, the video version is on YouTube, so you just have to subscribe to my Heidi Thorne YouTube channel. And I'm also on your Alexa with the AnyPod skill, so you just can find The Heidi Thorne Show through that AnyPod skill. I would also appreciate it if you would share The Heidi Thorne Show on social media with your author friends and followers. And if you'd like to connect with me, uh, you can uh, also, you can visit my website, first of all, at HeidiThorne.com. Or if you'd like to um, reach out to me on social media, I'm at Heidi Thorne all one word, on Twitter and Instagram, so you can reach out to me there as well. And I have a, a, another announcement, which is uh, I have a new audiobook out, uh, Blogging for Money, and it is uh, Myths and Mistakes uh, that you want to avoid uh, when you are doing your blog. So um, that is on Audible and iTunes audiobooks, and you can also buy the audiobook on Amazon. So again, it's uh, Blogging for Money. And uh, if you go to the Audible site you or on Amazon, you can get a free audio sample of it. So uh, check that out as well. And all my other books are also on, on Amazon. So you just have to search for Heidi Thorne and my author page should come up. So thank you so much for your listening and for your support. I'll look forward to talking with you again in the next episode. And in the meantime, have a great day.